हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू टेक फ्रीक सो टिल नाउ वी कनेक्ट अवर डेटाबेस टू दिस डी एक्स पी सेवन पॉइंट टू सो एज यू कैन सी वी हैव दिस डेटा बेस सेवन पॉइंट टू एंड वी क्रिएट ऑल ओवर सर्विस बिल्डर इन साइड दिस सो इफ वी नीड टू क्रिएट सम न्यू टेबल वी आर यूजिंग दिस डेटा बेस बट देर आर लॉट ऑफ सीनैरियोज इन विच वी नीड टू कनेक्ट टू टू डिफरेंट डेटा बेसिस so like one is this dxp 7.2 which contain all the life related tables and in real time scenario we have some other database like oracle database and we need to connect that database also so today we will see how we connect to two different databases so for now i create this second dxp and i create one simple table employee which contain two field eid and e name and our primary database is this so our database configuration in liferay is configured in portal ext properties so let's provide the configuration for second database also so i just simply copy and paste this and in place of default i use ext so because i am using the same database mysql so the driver class root and all the things are same but you can use oracle or any third party database also and now my database name is second dxp and now i start my tomcat so remember when you change anything in the portal ext properties you need to restart your server so let me just start this so now our tomcat is started so now let's create a new project and change the template to service builder and click finish so now open service.xml let me expand this click on overview and delete this entry so now change this to false we don't want that life add the name spaces in front of the tables and like give the name space as okay so now in the entity part local of service true remote service false our table is employee columns are eid which is a primary key and type is int second is e name string so now click on this source and we can see we have this employee local service true remote service false table employee and the columns so let me just delete this so we need to change this ds to spring okay so now we are using dependency injector spring and another thing is provide the data source so we have this tag data source provide any name like like hello so that we can identify this so now we need to build the service so click on this overview and click on this build service
so now our service is built successfully let me refresh gradle project so when you refresh the gradle project it will give some errors so let's check the error so now you can see we need to provide the dependency for this package so let's open the build.gradle and provide the dependency compile group com lifefree com lifefree portal spring extender api so now again I refresh gradle project so now as you can see the errors are gone let me close some of these and now we have this spring package and we have this module spring.xml let's check the content of this so it is automatically created by liferay so now we have this bean and all the things and we have this data source hello which is mentioned in this so this is automatically created by liferay so now we need to do one more thing so inside the spring folder we need to create a new file which is a xml file the name of the file is ext-spring.xml and click finish so inside this we create our data source so this is our ext spring.xml which contain a bean tag and this content remains same for all the configuration and as you can see we have used this jdbc ext dot which is provided in our portal ext this jdbc ext so that it can get all the database related information and we use lazy connection data source proxy and the important thing is this one so this is life data source and which contain the analysis hello which is mentioned in our service.xml so you can simply copy this from my blog i will share the url so in most of the cases all the things remain same except this alias so you need to just change this alias to the service.xml name so now let's build the service and deploy the portlet so it's built successfully now let's deploy this so for deploying we have this second db test and deploy so we have this build successful message so now copy these files and paste in our deploy folder okay so now both our bundles are created in the modules now let's copy these and paste in our deploy folder so now as you can see both are started so now let's use these in our demo portlet so first add the dependency so i simply copy and paste so now our project name is second db test 
refresh so now i need to just call this So I just save this and I already added this in our Tomcat so it should deploy automatically and now let me clear the console and hit our Tomcat. And now we can see we have this successfully retrieved which is first. So in this way you can connect Liferate to two different databases. So now my demo portlet can use both the databases, uh, this DXP 7.2 and this second DXP. So let me give you a fast recap. So first thing we add our database URL password and the name in our portal ext and then restart the tomcat after restarting we provide the entity in our service.xml and now we use the database injector spring and the data source hello so after that we create the service and build the service so after building the service we have created a new file inside the spring package which is automatically created by liferay and in the spring package we create the ext spring.xml and in the ext spring.xml we use our alias hello which is same as the data source which is mentioned in our service.xml and because it will give some error so i add the dependency in our build.gradle of our services which is this com life reporter spring extender api and when everything is complete we simply use in our demo portlet by providing a dependency which we already know how we can provide the dependency so that's it in this video but if you want to copy some of the code like this ext spring.xml you can use my blog and the address of this is life is easy blog spot.com so we have this connect service builder to external databases so i write all the steps in the same so if you want to copy paste this you can also copy paste the things so that's it for now if you like the video you can hit the like button share the video and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching